Sol Negro is the name of the game we're going to take a look at uh, this time and it's a Spanish game published by Oprasoft in 1988 and I'm pretty sure it's also been developed in-house by Oprasoft but I'm not entirely sure. It was released in Spain and also in France under the name Soleil Noir and uh, I'm not sure if this was published anywhere else uh, because it's really quite hard finding any information about it. And apparently this game is a take on the Ladyhawk film and you're supposed to in the first part of the game to save your girlfriend that's been turned into a Ladyhawk and in the second part of the game you're the girlfriend that's supposed to save the boyfriend because he's been turned into a manfish. <laughs> it's all quite weird I'm not sure why he's turned into a fish but let's play the game and find out. And by the way the artwork you're looking at is created by the Argentinian comic book artist Juan Jimenez. All right enough said let's dive into the game. So it's straight onto the title screen here, no uh, like loading screen or anything like that. And this game is supposed to be SDE enhanced, so I'm, I'm actually running this in SDE mode, so uh, I'm not sure what is it enhanced exactly, but yeah, could probably be like scrolling and such, not sure. So yeah, that's, uh, this is apparently the, yeah, the demo, uh, some pretty freaky looking enemies there and some really, really annoying music. <laughs> yeah, anyway, let's get started with the first part of the game. And there's a second part we're going to have a look at as well. And uh, so this is the, the hero of the game or the, the boyfriend who's currently in human form. What the hell happened to his face? I mean, look at this guy's face. What, what, is he just, someone kicked him in the, you know, in the, in the nose or something? Is he supposed to look like that? Or is he maybe slowly turning into a fish? I'm not sure. Anyway, it looks like we've got some sort of jetpack. We can fly up and uh, shoot stuff. And the scrolling is uh, pretty uh, bad. Uh, and that's not freaky at all. What the hell is that thing? <laughs> I think we should just murder it maybe. If we can. Oh, my, my laser gun is smoking. That's not good, I think. Oh, it's overheating. That's interesting. Uh, well, that's uh, that's cute. I think we're gonna have to go past this guy using my incredible jetpack without hopefully taking any damage. I'm guessing you want to eat me, maybe? Yeah, I just a wild stab in the dark there, really. Um, oh, is this my girlfriend? I don't know. Oh, really? I missed. Well, what do you know? And I died. That's great. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is my girlfriend and we need a key to set her free because, yeah, I did read about that. So let's go and see if we can find the key and murder some more local animals because that's great. Yeah, I don't know what's supposed to be SDE enhanced about this game. It doesn't feel very enhanced at all, does it? Probably nothing. Pretty awful sound effects as well here. The graphics looks pretty wonky and I, I did check out the Amiga version a bit and the graphics are quite different and they look even worse. <laughs> I don't know why and I think the Amiga version got, uh, got a pretty bad review in, uh, I don't remember which magazine but it was pretty damn terrible. What the hell is that? Are you a sperm or a tadpole? Really? Did I, did I really get anywhere near that thing? <laughs> I'm not sure. Get away from me! You went. All right, yeah. This is uh, interesting, this game. I'm not sure I like it. Can I kill this thing? I'm not sure. It looks like a monkey in a helmet that's trying to uh, fart bullets at me. Oh, I killed it. That's good. And I think the title of the game, Sol Negro, means uh, Black Sun. Oh god, that's freaky as well. What the hell? The enemies of this game. <laughs> Um, come on, can I, can I please murder you? That would be amazing. And the sprite, the main sprite is just huge. Uh, I am not sure what happened there. Maybe, maybe I took a fall or something. I don't know. I died anyway. And we're definitely going to have to try to have a look at the second part of the game. Uh, oh, that's a key. 
if we can get out of here before this thing eats my face and ugh. Don't tell me that's all there is. Why am I dying? I have, oh, is that, maybe I'm not supposed to be standing in that uh, water? I don't know. I really don't. I did try and find a manual for this game and I kind of find, found the Spectrum one, although it wasn't Spanish, so uh, I have no idea really what, what it told me. Doesn't seem to be, to be a very complicated game really, just shoot stuff. Oh, I think he said something. What? Didn't I just kill you? Ah, uh, well at least I have a very large supply of lives for some reason. I wonder if I can set my, my girlfriend free this easily. Oh really, you shot me in the toe and I died. Alright, fine. Fine! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what can I say? It's not exactly fun, this game. It's honestly pretty, pretty dull. And it's a bit repetitive already, I feel. Oh, we've got sample speech, which is, which is great, of course. Makes it a little bit better. Oh, uh, no, 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 no. What? Is the hit detection a bit arse, or is it just me? I don't know. So I got a key. How do I set her free then I have no clue I don't think there were any other keys than the kind of joystick keys at least not according to the Spanish oh here we are hello love how are you doing would you mind uh, coming this way I presume we're gonna have to get out of here ah oh, yeah it's this is not great. Maybe maybe you could deal with this, honey. Oh, it's game over, finally. I mean, how sad. <laughs> well, uh, I'm not sure I want to be playing this much longer, so I think we're going to have a look at the uh, second part of the game where we play the girlfriend and uh, the boyfriend's been turned into a manfish. I've, I've got to show you that, right? So uh, let's do that. Let's have a look at that. And this music just drives me mental. God. <laughs> oh, joy. The amazing music is still here. And the graphics are just as interesting as they were before. I mean, they're not necessarily bad. They're kind of, well, interesting and odd. Um, I don't know. And this time we are underwater and that blobby Thing, fish uh, that's floating around me is my uh, boyfriend well not my boyfriend because I have a girlfriend but but you know what I mean <laughs> so I don't know what this can you, what the fuck is this supposed to be some sort of tridents being fired out of nothing so I suppose we should do some sort of effort here to try and save my boyfriend here and uh, something and the graphics are very, very busy. It's kind of hard to see what is going on here. Um, seriously? I am underwater. Why would I fall down? Can, can I please be allowed to get up? Don't tell me I'm going to, like, die completely. I can't. Oh, I can move now. All right, that's good. I'm not sure I can fall down a, a, a hole when I'm in the water. Oh, my God, there's a barrage of things. Oh god. This is so sluggish. Really it is. And the graphics are I was going to say awful. I mean they're not awful. They are kind of okay-ish. But they're just too busy and too brightly colored. It just ugh no. And why I am pushing up there. I'm not sure why I can't swim up because you know I'm still in the water here so yeah, uh, what the, what is that radioactive waste being thrown into the sea? I don't know, maybe it is. Ah, uh, let's shoot some fish. Blop, yeah. And it's kind of hard to know what is supposed to hurt you and what is just decoration and what you can kind of go through. And 
I keep falling down those bloody holes. Unless, of course, you didn't notice that already. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is pretty awful. Um, it's pretty damn awful. And I have no idea what the... What is enhanced for the SDE. I'm guessing not much, maybe. <laughs> yeah, this is quite the disappointment, this game. And the game slows down quite dramatically when there's some sprites on... Uh, I'm not sure why... It's game over there. Did my boyfriend get hurt Some I don't know. Yeah, this is pretty awful. This is really rather awful. Uh, I don't even know what to say about that. Oh, there was some sort of thing beneath me that grabbed me and killed me. Well, that's a surprise, isn't it? Let's not fall down the hole and let's... Ah, uh, yeah. Is that a shark or a penguin, that thing? I'm not sure. Oh, shit, that's... that's... Mm, another thing that kills me. The game just slows down so badly when there's too many things on screen. That just gets incredibly hard dodging. And apparently that fish is just harmless. It's just decoration. So how about if you just remove the damn thing so the game can run a little bit faster and I can't shoot the jellyfish? Apparently not. I don't know. This is, this is pants. Absolutely pants. And I did have a look um, for reviews of the game, and I couldn't find any for the for the SD version. Did find one for the Amiga version. I think that got like twelve percent or something like that. It's it wasn't a very good review. Let's just say that. And I can't imagine the SD version getting much better scores, really. I wonder if this dolphin shark thing can kill me, or it's just yeah. It, can kill me. I just, I just had to find out, really. Because oddly enough, I can't shoot it for some strange reason. I can't shoot that fish either. Maybe it's just, oh, decoration or something. I don't know. And more toxic freaking waste or radioactive waste. I don't know. Oh, and I missed that hole in the ground again. You're so busy trying to dodge all the crap that's around you that you don't look at the ground. There's a thing down there that's going to try and grab me. Let's not let... Oh, I did not see that thing either. Wow. Wow! What can I say? I think I need to protect my poor girlfriend here. I mean, boyfriend. Or whatever. I'm getting completely mixed up here, so... Oh, yeah, God, this is just slowing down pretty badly now. I'm not sure why I died there. And I'm not sure I care either too much. I think when, once I'm kind of dead here, I, I'm kind of thinking I'm never going to touch this thing again, ever. Because this is just absolute pants. And I got grabbed by the grabby thing. Game over. Thank God for that. Yeah, not the greatest game ever. And uh, never going to touch this one again. And as I said before, I did not find any reviews for the SD version. But I'm not sad about that. Let's just wrap this up and uh, forget about it, shall we? Anyway, I hope you kind of enjoyed this video anyway. I'm going to try and keep this short. So thanks for watching and all that stuff. Hope to see you in the next one. And I'm hoping that's going to be a better game. So uh, cheers.